In 1998, the Pagan Outlaw Motorcycle Club was allegedly extorting thousands of dollars annually from topless dance clubs and other adult businesses. According to reports, the motorcycle club used threats of violence and arson to force club owners and their dancers to pay generally $400 a week in protection money to gang leaders. But one man, Sean McCarthy, worked as a manager and bouncer at the Carousel Club, refused to pay. He beat up several pagans sent to collect the money. And according to police, McCarthy was stabbed five times while fighting off seven gang members for refusing to get Shuken down by the club. Later that year, the head of the Pagans Motorcycle Club, Keith Cohn and the Barbarian Richter, ordered a hit on Sean McCarthy. But before the plot could be carried out, Conan was arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit murder and racketeering charges. On March 21, 1998, Conan pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 16 years in federal prison. After his release, Conan returned to the top of the Pagans Outlaw Motorcycle Club's leadership. In 2018 he became the national president of the Pagans, and his main mission was to expand its membership across the country. He started the Blue Wave Mandate, and his expansion plan targeted parts of northern New Jersey, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Pennsylvania, regions perceived as either Hell's Angels or Outlaws Turf. The Hell's Angels is the dominant biker club on the West Coast and the Outlaws are the most powerful biker club in the Midwest. And since the East Coast was up for grabs, Conan the Barbarian wanted to make the Pagans the most dominant biker club on the East Coast. But in February of 2021, Conan the Barbarian was arrested after leaving a meeting of the Pagan hierarchy in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Conan and a fellow Pagan was pulled over by the both local and federal authorities. And according to reports, police discovered a hidden compartment containing a loaded handgun. And allegedly, there was widespread thinking among club members that Conan was betrayed by someone within the Pagans, who knew about Conan carrying a gun to the Pennsylvania meeting. Also according to reports, there were some high-ranking Pagans upset with Conan the Barbarian's tactics. While increasing the ranks of the Pagans by the hundreds in recent years, there were indications that some new members bought their way into the club with cash. There were also reports that some new members were not required to serve a probationary period before being granted full membership, as was the Pagan's policy in years past. But in October of 2021, Conan the Barbarian pleaded guilty to one count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. He was subsequently sentenced to 33 months in federal prison. Now as always we would like to know what you think about this video down below in the comments section. Also don't forget to like the video, share the video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, peace.